before TVGN, there was the guide. That was then. This is now. All programming, no guide. TV Guide Network is now TVGN. It's a new look. It's a new era. It's a new logo. The stars. The fashion. She's very classic. The glamour. We are live for the Academy Awards. It's a new look. It's a new logo. It's TVGN. This is Hollywood. Previously on Nail Files. Are you quitting? Yeah. I've got people quitting. Sorry, I have to resign from this position, guys. Thank you. How much more responsibility do I have to take on right now? I don't know who any of these people are. Today is the Oscar gifting suite. This is really annoying to me. I literally was looking for super awesome A-list people. Those people don't come to these events. I just fired my publicist. They made me give them their last check. I just wrote them a check for the next month to do nothing for my business. Put a stop payment on that check right now. You wrote me a bad check, Katie. There says nothing about 30 days, Eileen. I want to file a police report. And tonight, I'm going to place an ad for a really fun receptionist. Today is interview day. I learned a lot of my nail stuff in jail. <laughs> my very good best friend, Nicole Egger. I used to love Charles. I want to throw a little baby shower. I don't have kids. We do have a pole, but I don't think that's good for a baby right, shower. Right, no. <laughs> they want me to be a fashion cop for Us Weekly. This is like an audition. Let's start with Paris Hilton. Oh, and Gaga. I mean, Liz, can I speak with Katie? I was like, yeah, let me see if she's free right now. I fired my publicist, Eileen, and I thought it was over with. You wrote me a bad check, Katie. Well, I actually put a stop on that check. And the same as, as writing a bad check. You have to give me 30 days written notice. Why pay them for an entire month of work when they only did 10 days? I'm not renting an apartment from you. I don't need to give you 30 days notice or pay a deposit or whatever. I signed the paperwork, I have the copy. If you want to take that to court and try to argue it, fine, I don't care at this point. I want to file a police report. This is how you handle it, threatening with police officers, yet I'm the unprofessional one because I had to cancel a check. I will pay you for the days you work, but I'm not paying the full amount. I will accept that payment. You'll get some documentation for me. But for now, I'm going to send someone there right now to grab it. Well, they're not going to get anything. I don't have time to go to the bank and get cash. And you like, don't boss me around. What are you, like, the publicist mafia? That's not how you do business transactions unless you're a hooker or a drug dealer. This conversation is over. I will send it in the mail. Thank you. Goodbye. What? Oh do you see what God. kind of, like, honestly? I can't believe they're being like that. And then my lawyers, my this, my that. Ugh, I can't even eat anymore. Like, Damn. that kind of attitude is so disgusting. You know what? Sorry about that. Shake it off. Yes. I'm going to unload that negative energy off of me. Would you like some wine, my boo? <laughs> <laughs> I know, literally. I'm like, you know, I'm just a little glass. Yeah, you want white wine? Yeah. Okay. It's unfortunate that you have to go through things like this in life, and it's hard not to let that affect you. Oh, so People are jerks. Don't worry about it. You'll win. I feel like all I do is work, 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 work. You work your butt off. I'm tired of working. I fired my publicist. I'm torn because I don't know if I'm ready to like go back to me handling all of like my publicity and can I now put this on my plate? People take 10 years to do what you did in two years. But I think it's time for a break. I say keep going. You're setting up an empire, sweetie. You need to just go and claim it. Your hit song right now is The Painted Nail. But you know what? Now you need to get a hit album. So when you stay on this course, that's when success happens. Katie was really, really upset. And it makes me feel terrible. I'm, I just want to help her. I want to make sure that she's very successful. See, it's just a lot of hard work. I know. A lot of sleepless nights. And then everything will come in. All the endorsements and all the products and all the different locations and the franchises and the book deals and the whole thing. I think that there's no one else that could take it like you can. I'm right there with you. This is a forever thing. I, I know it is. Goody. Yeah, we, I can't tell you how proud I am. I love you. Love you. <laughs> you 
touching my penis. <laughs> Afternoon, the painted nail. This is Nicole. I just feel like sometimes I just want to give up and I'm exhausted. I'm like, I don't know what to do right now. I just need to get back on the right track. You know, we need to start making a little bit, you know, following a little bit more rules. Like, you are the go to for all the girls. Okay. And I'm going to place an ad for maybe some new nail techs and then a really fun receptionist. Okay. Nicole can't do 50 million things without there being a stress load on her. So I really do need to have a full-time receptionist, friendly, professional receptionist needed. Next. We're getting really busy. People want their toes to be cute and not funky. So we need to get another nail tech on top of replacing Tina. The Valley Betches. I am so excited to see the people that want to give their all for the painted nail. Fingers crossed. We have a lovely lady here that wants to see the party lounge. I'm going to grab her and then All take right. her upstairs. Awesome. The Paint and Nail Party Lounge is still a fairly new business. It's like a year and a half old, and we have been getting so busy. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> we have the works in the party lounge. What are you looking to do with the space? OK, well, my very good best friend, Nicole Eggert. I don't know if you know. Remember Charles in Charge oh and my Baywatch? God. Yeah. She, she was, was the hot sister. She was, yeah. You know who Nicole Eggert is? I was a huge Scott Bayo fan and had a massive crush on him. So I always watch Charles in Charge. She's five months pregnant right now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh so I want to throw her, I want to throw a little baby shower. I don't have kids. I literally don't even know how to change a diaper. We do have a pole, but I don't think that's good for a baby right, shower. Right. No. <laughs> so planning a celebrity baby shower is going to be very difficult. I really am pumped for you. This is going to be so exciting. No. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm here to talk to Katie about okay. the receptionist position. Okay, so perfect. I'm Tawny. Today is interview day. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. These girls need to keep up in an environment that is the painted nail. And what's some of the experience that you have? I did do bottle service at clubs around town, but I wasn't really on like the payroll or anything. OK. Yeah. OK, so how did you make money doing that? I would offer to like get people drinks, and they would say, OK, if you get me a drink, you know, I'll pay you or I'll buy you a drink, you know. Mm -hmm. It was just like a like a trade-off, I guess, you know, like from I'll get the you, club. Well, from like patrons in the club. That is not a bottle service girl. That's what an escort does. <laughs> like, what's next? I had to uh, work in the gas station. Oh my god, you were the Easter bunny? Yes. Interview day is looking a little grim. I learned a lot of my nail stuff in jail. <laughs> it was just some stupid things like tickets, and I didn't really okay. realize. Okay, so it's not like you like murdered someone. No, right? no. Okay. Um, if you were just gonna file regularly, can you show me? Oh just like something. Oh my gosh. Like that. Oh, sorry. I, oh, are you okay? Yeah, that's. This is not something I'm really used to using. Well, isn't that the whole thing about jail? Is you can file your way out of those bars? I also worked um, for eight years at a salon in Beverly Hills. So you know about Beverly Hills customer service. Yes, I do. I have a celebrity clientele. And oh, nice. Yeah. I did all of the booking. Then we did also like selling of products. OK, this is great. I work for the Ritz Carlton. Oh. So I really get into leg massages. That's awesome. Out of all of the nut jobs, I feel like I found a few gems. Now I just need to figure out who I'm going to hire. Oh, my god. What kind of things do you guys have in mind for the party? On top of planning a baby shower, now I'm doing a kid's party. I like the uh, pinatas. The same day. Yeah! We have to do this. I need to prove to everyone that I don't need the publicist. Paris Hilton, Jay Wow, Julia Roberts. Oh my god, Vanessa Williams is here. <laughs>
humanitarians, moguls. But who cares? Let's get to the clothes. She looked like an angel. It was a disaster. An epic fail. In Celebrity Style Story, watch the stars rise to fame through their fashion. J-Lo nailed it. Every show, a new star. See how these stylistas went from fashion freshmen. She looked like she was an alien. It just was a hot mess. To great at Glamazons. It was ravishing. Yeah. yeah. Catch back-to-back -back episodes of Celebrity Style Story, Sundays at 1110 Central on TVGN. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna take you upstairs and give you a tour of the space. On top of planning a baby shower, now I'm doing a kid's party the same day. Oh boy. What kind of things do you guys have in mind for the party? Uh, sushi, uh, pizza. Ew. I was thinking like Project Runway, like a runway down. That would be fun, almost like America's Next Top Model. We could bring up a rolling rack from the boutique with all kinds of fun costumes oh, yeah. on it, and then the girls can strut their stuff <laughs> down the runway. Strut your stuff. Maybe we could do the ceiling in balloons. Yeah. I like, I like uh, pinatas. Maybe instead of candy, we could put something cool inside of it. Maybe like some rings or bling. A bling yada. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm excited for you guys. Oh my God, we have to do this. There was this email from Us Weekly. Okay, so they want me to be a fashion cop for Us Weekly. <laughs> do it. <laughs> but that makes me nervous. This is like an audition. They want to see if my comments are funny, and I've never done this before. They show like crazy outfits of yeah, like, and then you have who looked good wearing it, who didn't, and who didn't, and, yeah. and then you have to write like little witty things mm -hmm. about it. It's kind of just exciting. don't beg on me. <laughs> I need to prove to everyone and myself that I don't need Eileen. That is like amazing, incredible PR for the painted nail. Let's start with Paris Hilton. Oh, um, Gaga. There's just all types of wrong with this. Paris Hilton can't, can't pull this off. Oh my God, that's genius. J-Well. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but J-Well's dress was see-through. Maybe it should be t-shirt time for J-Well. It was like the new currency at the Jersey Shore is silver dollars. Julia Roberts in a completely crotch wrinkled pantsuit. I just cannot deal when I see people's like bunched up vaginas in pants. Eat, pray, change your pants. <laughs> God, I, I hope they don't see what I'm wearing. <laughs> I'm all about the PR. Like, I'm sorry, but I need to see the paintednail.com in there. Oh my God, it's due by 10 a.m. tomorrow. I don't know if I get into the magazine until the day it comes. So. That pen can suck it. Hand me that one. And then help me take those boxes up. Okay. It's party day. And I'm freaking out on the inside. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Oh my god, we have 20 minutes. Fun time's over right now. Can you tell I haven't had anything to eat yet? <sighs> Okay. Oh my God, it's hard in heels. It's a bling yada. It's totally coming together. Hi. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I got everything taken care of by the skin of my teeth. We got sushi at the party. Sushi. sushi. Yes, I oh want this sushi over here. Sushi. And when I see the girls' faces, there we go. Every bit of work that went into this party. You guys went full glam on the nails. Totally worth it. These girls are ready to party. Oh, yeah. Do you want a cherry, Tell too? Tell me when. Have you ever had a glitter tattoo before? No. Balloons, gift bags. Getting a chocolate fountain, cupcakes, make your own Sunday bar. These girls dove on that bling like a pack of Wolverines. I mean, if there was a finger on that floor, that thing would have been chewed up and spit out. Come on, okay. What color are you getting? I'm getting red. One of the guests' mom is Vanessa Williams. And I'm like, oh my God, Vanessa Williams is here. <laughs> Got a manicure if I want. Oh, you did? You store it? She says, one of your nail technicians did a fabulous job. Oh, yeah, wow. Ready? Yeah, Who I got did a piece of dance. Um, Nicole. Not Nicole. Chip. Maybe it was maybe it's Maliga. It might have been Maliga. I mean, could this day get any better? Happy birthday! Woo! The girls had above and beyond what they wanted. 
she'll remember it forever. Really? Yes. Good yeah. time. Job well done. Bye, you guys. Thanks again. Oh, my God. This place is a crime scene. Oh, my God. Crap. Now that the kids' party is said and done, it's not over for me. I've got Nicole Eggert's baby shower that I'm throwing in, like, two hours. Oh, what a mess. The way it looks right now, if a cupcake got murdered, this is the crime scene. I can't stay in hell. Well, can you just do some of the white parts? You don't ask a Grammy Award-winning producer to do that sort of thing. Oh, God. Just scrub what looks dirty. It's a surprise, right? She just have a seat for me. OK. Her friends are not going to know if she's going to labor or if this is the best party ever. Oh. Oh, my god. This place is a crime scene. What a mess. Now that the kids' party is done, it's not over for me. I've got Nicole Eggert's baby shower that I'm throwing in, like, two hours. How the hell? Am I going to clean up this mess? Hi, duty. I walked into the party lounge to drop off the sponges. And of course, I knew right off the bat, nobody's going to do the sponging. I can't stay in hell. Well, can you just do some of the white parts? Uh-oh. This is important. Don't you love me? I need an extra set of hands. And thank God, Walter has time to help me get the place in tip-top shape. Oh, God. It's going to take two seconds to scrub what looks dirty. I'm in there sponging away. Where's Katie? <sighs> I need a broom. I have that little shark steam mop. That thing is a whiz. OK, you just pick a setting. That's awesome. And you don't need to use soap or water, and it disinfects the floor. Lovely. I'm cleaning the toilet. You don't ask a Grammy Award-winning producer to do that sort of thing. Smoke is what makes it sexy. God. It was a good hour of sponging. My God, look at that. No soap. Look at that bad boy. That's just steam? Yeah, because it sanitizes. It's like eco-friendly without using chemicals. This thing That's is money. Like do you want them uh, clipped on or just filed? I'm just filed. The party lounge is cleaned up. Now I need to decorate. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, like, I need help. Sorry, I'm going to interrupt for two seconds. When you're done, I'm going to have you come help me upstairs. Okay, sure. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I totally recognize you. And I look over, and it's Hope Jurassic. And I'm like, oh, my God. She's like the hottie playmate on Celebrity Apprentice, and she's with her girlfriend. And they're getting Manny Petties. How did you find us? I love this place. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. We love it. It's I so cute. It. I agree with her. What's not to love about this place? I have a crazy baby shower in like half an hour. So I'm running around like a mad woman. Come back, have wine, relax. And I'm glad that you found us. Thank you so much. Yes. It's so cool yes. in here. Thank you. Coming over when you're done. Bye. Bye. Nice to meet you. Right now, I just need to kick it into high gear and make this happen. Welcome. I'm going to put some champagne out since you're here. Here's oh, receiving diapers. That's really great. It's a surprise, right? She has no idea. OK. I want Nicole Egger to be so thrilled with the baby shower that she literally could be like, so excited. Her friends are not going to know if she's going to labor or if this is the best party ever. You just have a seat for me. OK. Yeah. Nicole is here. Wait, get down, get down. <laughs> we can go right up the Upstairs? stairs. Yes. They're coming. Oh, shh, shh. Aw, isn't it cute? Yeah. So cute. So cute. <laughs> the look on Nicole's face is Priceless. Oh, look at Katie. She's a gangster, dude. Yeah. These girls are going to have the best time. This is what happens when I babysit. I <laughs> form a bottle. <laughs> I'm my sister. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> okay, you guys, press in. Woo!
When I see all of the guests, especially Nicole, happy and laughing and having a great time, really makes me feel like I am a amazing party planner. It's Twix, huh? No, just kidding. Oh, 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 you can't eat the candy bar. Oh, God, that's so gross. I got a massage on my feet and alcohol. <laughs> what else do you need? <laughs> okay. Okay, so we will see you again for Thank sure. Thank you. You made it. Thank you. All happened. Yeah. Oh, Amazing. Bye. 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 Yep. Best baby shower ever. What am I going to do with 300 diapers? Do you guys have the new Us Weekly? When you open up your Us Weekly, guess who you also see? Oh my God! <laughs> Katie Kazorla, thepaintednail.com. You're supposed to stand on the red carpet, not wear it. Amy, Us Weekly just came out and I'm in it. Oh my God, it's so funny! Relina and Eileen, I don't need you. I can do my own PR. Thank you very much. You know what, I'm gonna buy all of them. <laughs> Next time on Nail Files. This is our new line. Do you want a new one? Okay. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens is a really big star. This is cute. Yay! Carney Wilson coming in. I'm like, oh my god, Wilson Phillips. This is so awesome. To the point of nail. I am ready to launch these bad boys. Da, 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 da. My spring launch is make it or break it for my brand. What? That can't happen. Nothing was ready. No polish. I can't launch a new line if the line isn't there. This is crazy. I don't even have a dress. Do you know if the product left yet? I don't think it did. <gasps> if the party sucks, I cannot expand. All these celebrities here, Eric Estrada, Melissa Rivers, everybody is here. Product needs to be here in like two minutes or fire is gonna be shooting out of my mouth. This cannot fail. Seriously, 